Good morning, good morning, good morning out there in Bartonella world. Today I want to talk about just what the title talked about. Allergies to red meats. Um, I had a little piece of red meat last night. Just a little, little piece. Not even that big. Maybe this big. And I woke up this morning and I'm a puffy face. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but I'm starting to go down a little bit now because of the ibuprofen. But it was so bad that it was puffy over here and I could see it with my eyes and my peripheral. So I had to lay like a cold washcloth on my face to help a little bit. Hopefully it'll go down completely. But here we're there. On to why I decided to talk about this topic. Um, I also used to get, when I ate red meat the next day, heart palpitations for anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, which I always contributed to that being gallbladder issues. Well, um, a new study was done at one of the medical schools, and what they did was they took white blood cells from Lone Star Tick and the Gulf Coast Tick and a regular dog tick. And what they did was they tested the white blood cells. See, a lot of times in the past they thought that if a tick had bitten a host, like a deer or whatever, um... They have alpha gal in their their blood sugars, okay, and that's something that we don't have. And they figured that if a tick had bitten something most recently and then had bitten you, the chances of having an allergic reaction to red meat was really high. But now they're finding that with the Lone Star tick, that was like forty percent more than what the average should have even been. Whereas it wasn't so much with the dog tick and the Gulf Coast tick. But they also found recently that they don't have to bite something else, like another mammal, most recently and then bite you, that they can actually just transmit this. Whether it be because maybe they had bitten something, you know, prior, you know, obviously. That's still to be seen. But it is very possible, people, to not only have allergies to, you know, everything else under the sun, but also to have a reaction to red meat. So that is pretty interesting. Um, update on the hair loss, you know, it, it's looking a little puffy and frizzy, but um, it depends on what I eat. I've been trying to stay on an egg daily basis thing, um, or at least every other day, eat more eggs, hoping that it'll stay in. Who knows, you know, I mean, I haven't seen any kind of hair growth whatsoever. Hopefully it does stop falling out. I haven't noticed as much in the last shower that I took, but, you know, I mean, we lose 100 hairs a day, and when you've lost at least three quarters, if not more of your hair, any kind of hair loss is scary. So that's an update there. Um... As far as my health goes, you know, I'm doing okay. Like everybody else, you know, we learn, we are programmed or we learn to pay attention to what it is that we do. Everything that we take in, everything that we eat, everything. We pay attention to everything. We're always on a constant worry basis that we might set it up. Um, I still do, you know, I mean, 33 years, 34 years now, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm doing, I'm still trying to get out and stay out a little bit more and things like that. Slow steps, baby steps, you know. There's nothing else that you can really do, but I can tell you this, guys. Don't sit in your house, okay, and be scared to death of the world. If you're having anxiety about going out, like as in panic attacks, agoraphobia, things like that, you need to talk to a doctor, and I don't usually suggest taking medicine, but... In the case of anxiety and panic attacks, it is a good thing to help you function. Do not be one of those people that end up stuck in your house. Don't. I did it for 10 years. It, no good. No good, people. No good for the mentals. So anyway, I hope this is finding everybody well out there in Bartonella world. Um, please feel free to go down below. Let me know how you react to red meat and so on. Excuse the background noise. It is my puppy dog. She's whining, telling me she wants to come over here. And anyway, I'm going to close this here. I hope everybody is doing well. And I will catch all of you soon. Bye-bye. Good morning. Good morning out in Bartonella world. It is 
early morning for me. Good morning, good morning out there in Bartonella world. I hope that this winter has been treating you well and hopefully it passes soon because we've had one heck of a thing. Now, I have always mentioned that after I eat red meat, a lot of times I have heart palpitations the next day. Um, and I always contributed that to being something of... Um, on ticks, and they used the Lone Star tick, the go... Ugh. 